you guys. Today we are going to be trying out the stuff that I got in my Hank and Henry mystery box. So let's see if Hank and Henry can redeem themselves. I think they can. I hope that they can. I really, truly, like I've joined several lives of his and like I really feel like he's such a very genuine and like caring person and I really, I dig who he is as a person. I just don't know if I dig his cosmetics. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what we're that's what we're gonna find out. That's what we're doing today. So I've already beat the face. Like we're gonna do contour. I'm gonna use his contour brush. This is Cassandra. And we'll see how I feel about the contour brush. Okay. It's a really soft brush. I really like the it. The contouring worked really well. I'm happy so far. Now for the blush, we have the blush stick in shade Tang Tang. I've never used a blush stick, but I'm assuming it's sort of like the putty blushes. Like you put them on and then you just kind of tap it out. So I'm going to try that and see if I'm right. <laughs> I'm just going to do one sheet first. Kind of, I feel like it might be easier to just do it onto the finger and then tap it on. That's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, I feel like the finger method works a little better. Those of you who have used this kind of product before, please feel free to sound off below. Like, am I doing it right? Because I've never done this before. I think that's really cute. I really like that. So the brushes work really well. The blush works really well. We're on a roll here. We're on a roll. Now, I know this is technically like an eyeshadow topper, but I think this would be really pretty as a highlight. This is the Celestial Liquid Eye Shimmer. But I'm all about trying to use things in like different ways. And like this has so much sparkle to it that I think it'd be a really pretty highlight. So, I'm just gonna tap it on. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna say this like isn't breaking up the foundation or anything either, so definitely safe to use on the cheekbones. It wanted to be multi-purpose. Wanted it was made for it. This is definitely a hit. I definitely like it as a highlighter. Uh, we may bring it back for the eye look too and see how it goes like using it for its actual purpose, you know. But I like to use things ways that they're not really meant to be used, but like you could totally use them that way. It's fun. Now we're going to do the lips. This is Candy Apple Liquid Lipstick. Did a bold red look earlier, so uh, bring it on, mama. Okay, there's the liquid lip. It smells awesome. Goes on really smooth, very pigmented. I'm digging it. I'm digging this so far. 
But the big question is, can this eyeshadow palette redeem his eyeshadow formula? Because that's the only thing I've ever tried, and I didn't like it. This is the Spring Fling. I showed it in the other video, but in case you didn't watch, here is the color story. I'm really loving these like bright, vibrant colors. So we're gonna play with that. Um, really dig like the outside too. Like very like Miami nights. I'm, I'm loving that. Okay. So do I what do I what do I want to do? These are so colorful. Ooh, I love a colorful makeup look. Okay, I'm gonna get out what eye brushes I got in the box. Okay. Uh, I can only find one that's like really suitable for eyes. So we'll use that one when the time comes. Um, I think I'm going to dip into Sandy Betch right under the brows. Okay, and then right under that, we're gonna go in with Spring Fling. Okay, Spring Fling is barely showing up. Like, it's a very light pink. And I didn't prime my eyes with white, so maybe that's the tea there. It also had a lot of fallout in the pan, though. Like, Sandy Betch did not have any fallout at all. But Spring Fling, it had some fallout. So I'm gonna go in with Birds and Bees, where I just put Spring Fling. And, um, we'll see where we go from there. That's more the pink pow I was looking for. Now, I gotta figure out what I wanna do next, cause my whole idea was to do like pink and then a pop of green. <laughs> We've already exhausted the pinks. <laughs> and green's the only other matte. Okay. Let's do... All right, I'm gonna do the green on the lid. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my finger and put popstick all where like a cut crease would be. Now I'm going to take Soliato. In the inner corner. It's not enough power to do. Okay. Change of plans. We're going to take Soliato and we're going to blend out the orange to green with that. Now, I'm going to take Las Palmas in the inner corner. This is a weird look. I've been doing a lot of those lately. I'm missing the trend here. Why do I like the weird? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to take I don't think I even said, I just have the green shade. The Senora Mayo is the name of the green shade that I used earlier. I didn't say the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to dip into festival. I don't know why. I want to mix it in underneath. Okay. 
think this is our look. Very bright, very colorful. I'll be right back with some lashes and uh, we'll talk. Okay, nothing like a dramatic lash to spice a look up, you know? <laughs> um, I absolutely, I like the lipstick. I like the blush. I like the highlight. The eye palette. Oh, and the brushes. I like the, the brushes. But, like, the eye palette... There was some hits and some misses in that pan. Now, it started out, like, most of these are more pigmented and they blended way better than uh, Living in Color. I'll give it that. But, like, the, the pink one, there was a lot of fallout in uh, the Spring Fling shade. Like, look at that little owl. He's... <laughs> look at the rest of them, okay? And then look at the pink one. He got destroyed and I only dipped into it, like, twice. Like, there's a lot of fallout in that pan. Um, but the rest of them blended really nicely. It was just, like, that one shade. For whatever reason, like, it was kind of, it didn't want to work. And it was, like, super fallout. And, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, would I buy another palette based off this one? I don't know. I'd have to really think. It'd have to be, like, highly recommended, I think. Um, I don't know how some of his newer stuff is, so maybe his newer stuff is even better than this one, but mm, I'm on the fence about his eyeshadow. However, the highlight, or no, well, it's not even a highlight, it's an eye topper, but like, I used it as a highlight and I think it works really well as a highlight, so I'm <laughs> calling it a highlight. <laughs> but the blush, the lips, the eye topper worked great, the brushes were amazing. It's just his eyeshadow formula. I'm having strong. I just I can't quite be like, you know, two thumbs up. Like this gets one thumb up. <laughs> it's better than the other one. I'll give it that. It's definitely an improvement, but I feel like he could do better than this. And maybe he has. Like I said, I haven't tried everything. So Hank and Henry aficionados, sound off down below. What is his best? Palette. Like, what palette do you think is going to wow me based off of this and the fact that Living Color was the first one that I had any kind of knowledge of him from? Like, what would you recommend for me? Because, like, I want to give him a fair shot, but I feel like these eyeshadow formulas aren't quite where they could be. But this is definitely improvement, so I see that he's trying to improve. So I give him props for that. So I want to keep trying. I'm not going to give up yet. Somewhat redeemed. Somewhat redeemed. Well, this, this, like, this far from redemption. Okay, so that's my analysis on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And sound off below, please, if you've tried his palettes and there's one that you think is just, like, chef's kiss amazing. Because, like, I want to try that one and see how I feel about it. Okay? Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!